Here, I'll, I'll be cool. Good.
was middle school. So they're not Because they asked, 
and I told we had a case that might have overturned on ask don't tell but because of the death threats and the intimidation I chose not to pursue I said just give me a discharge get me out of here I'm done and I've regretted that for the rest of my life not standing up and doing everything that I could when I had a chance to maybe change things and again that's another reason why I'm here today that anytime you see bullying or you have a chance to, to, to save a life or reach out to someone do it you, you won't regret it if you don't do something you will regret it so, so please just keep that in mind um, I did get out and became an activist and I just wanted to let y'all know it took us 17 years to overturn Don't Ask Don't Tell to get a repeal even though we knew we were on the right side of things you don't always win on your first battle you have to be consistent you're going to have roadblocks and you're going to have things people put up obstacles in your way well these used to be roadblocks and they're the more like the people and we're about to see roll over any of those obstacles they put in our way i don't know if you've noticed them or not, but there's a, a famous quote everyone knows the great reverend dr martin luther king once said the arc of the moral the arc of the moral universe is long but it ends towards justice judges are the ones that issue the marriage licenses so more uses power as the chief justice to order them around so what we did we remained calm and we just said we're going to be smarter than them the probate judges had always traditionally married people in the courthouse sort of as a courtesy i mean my parents got married by the justice of the peace so but when marriage equality came about all of the probate judges in alabama said i'm not going to do any weddings because i i would have to perform one for a same-sex couple now in their minds they thought well no Alabama preacher is going to marry a same-sex couple again we remain calm and we said we're going to work smarter than them so a bunch of us became ordained ministers and in January last year Huntsville Alabama held a wedding week and that week we performed 127 free same-sex weddings in Alabama and again it only lasted a week before we were at that point they wanted us to fight it out in east of the 67 alabama counties and i basically just said hell no we're not so just like i did for you guys when this started i called every attorney i knew every civil rights group every resource i had and i said we're going to fight this so i'm the plaintiff in alabama who filed the class action lawsuit we won i have a federal injunction against all 68 probate judges in alabama and we won that before the supreme court and of course it's going back and forth and roy morris put up all the room blocks so we won the 11th federal circuit court of appeals the supreme court is the united state of alabama and again we're steamrolling forward they're not going to stop us but the fight is over but i guess my point is, is that no matter what happens and how hopeless it may seem sometimes don't give up there's always an option there's three branches of government and in Tennessee, we're dealing with a lot more issues, you know, than just the GSA. Um, all the bills are trying to pass. And say, well, remember, you may exhaust one le one of the branches of government, but there's always the other two. So if you can't get it done legislatively, you do it through the judicial system. If you can't get it done that way, you go through the executive system. If you exhaust all three of those branches, you have the power to replace the people in those three branches. And that's something that we have to remember voter apathy is killing us we have to get these people out of office and that's why the way you behave is so important because anything they paint us as a stereotype of angry bitter people and whenever you respond with love and happiness they don't know what to think i mean it, they, they don't know what to do so how you portray yourself is so important because the whole world is watching now 
next thing I want to take up a lot of your time, I just want to share some of my struggles with you and let you know that, like they said, you have more support than you can imagine. And I don't want you to ever give up. No matter what happens tonight, we're going to be here for you. We've traveled hundreds of miles from us here to show our support, and we're not going anywhere either. And even after the cameras go away and the media dies down, if you need anything, call us, because we're still going to be there. And I just want to share just one phrase that an attorney filed in the Alabama case, but I think it totally applies to what's happening tonight, and Lisa even echoed this. I'm going to replace the words of the Alabama Supreme Court in this phrase with Franklin County High School Board of Education and the Board of Education, but Attorney Stanton Glass said, they have alternate pathways from which to choose, from which to choose but not a choice of their destination. Franklin County has a couple of paths to choose from, but the destination has already been decided. They can take the short road or they can take the long road, but we're going to get to the same destination, whichever road they choose. So I want you to keep the faith. Don't give up. I think you know that love wins. No, no, no. Wait. Love already won. We know that. And now it's time we go into this board meeting and let these other people know that. Okay? So I want you guys. I want you guys to stay strong and I, there's no words to express my gratitude and how proud I am of you guys, okay? So keep up the fire. We're there by your side, alright? Thank you for your time.